I just go back to what was Pedro Grafal hired to do. He was hired to get rid of all the stuff that we saw that led to nights like this last year, right? <laughs> all, all the problems in the field, all the base running mistakes, all, all the mental mistakes that caused last year to be the most disappointing season in history for, for Rick Hahn and, and, and several other folks that worst worked in the White Sox front office. This obviously is much worse. They are 33 games below 500 as of this moment. Aaron Rowan. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron Rowan, there you go. They're Aaron Rowan games below 500. Uh, that's obviously very bad, but it's absolute daily basis that these mental mistakes are showing up. Tonight, you just got to look at the one inning. Tim Anderson makes a bad throw that allows the leadoff man to get on in the bottom of the ninth inning. Bobby Witt Jr. hits a game-tying hit into right field, and Oscar Colas can't keep him from going to second base, even though he got to the ball. That, why is that a double? How is that a double, right? And then, obviously, Gregory Santos, whether that was him just screwing up a quick pitch, whether that was him screwing up not knowing what the pitch clock was at you know, and trying to get a pitch off, whatever it was, it was a screw-up. That's one inning. That, that, happened all, that all happened within eight minutes of each other three mental mistakes and physical mistakes that are not allowing this team to win a baseball game tonight. The things that Pedro and this coaching staff were brought in to completely eliminate are as prevalent as they've ever been. 